And finally, I'm going to split the crankcases. I'm um, going to start by looking at this screw here. There's another one in the center as well behind the, the vise. And then here we've got a screw up here that needs to be removed, nut and bolt, and the same here on this side. And then we'll get that crank out of there. So that's it, this is the next job. I'm going to start with this little screw here in the bottom. I hope it will come out. I've had some penetrating oil in there for a little while, so here's hoping. Oh, I don't believe it, it came out. Excellent. Oh, that's such good news. Not having to drill that out. I may have spoken too soon. <coughs> Got it. Okay, I need to replace that one. I buggered up the head, unfortunately. Shoot, oh well. And this nut and bolt here is uh, 3 16 width widths. That's in very nice condition. Sorry, the nut on that last one was actually a quarter. It was the bolt itself that was a 3 uh, This little one here, however, is 3 sixteenths. This is at the mouth of the crank. And let's take a look at one at the other side as well in just a moment. This side is much larger, it's 5 sixteenths nut. And washer. Okay, I think I got all the nuts and bolts. Just a quick look round, got the ones on the bottom, the side cases, the ones from the mouth at the top, everything's off and so we are ready to split. I've just put that rag in there just to protect the con rods.
saw it. I saw it. I saw where it went. It's the spring out of the breather. Yeah, that ain't budging. I think I'm going to need some heat. That's all it needed. Little heat to let go. Oh, the bearing is still in the case, but that's fine. That means I don't have to take it off the uh, off the crank. But uh, excellent, excellent. So that's the crankcase split. There's the crank. Um, that'll be the next job to start disassembling that. Um, looking at those con rods, they do look a little rough I must say uh, inside of the cases um, just dirty and grimy but thankfully it looks like uh, some of those uh, bearing housings are in good condition as well here the bearings still in there and I need to drop that out but yeah very happy those pins proved a little pop problematical in getting the cases split but uh, all in all it wasn't so bad just with a little bit of heat so real pleased with that I will also need to look at this camshaft. That's the spring that flew out. Um, it looks like it's a different size to what I remember. But uh, anyway, it looks like it's in decent condition, but I will need to check it out. And also that uh, circular breather piece is still in there. That's coming out. That's not actually needed with with this setup because I'm um, there we go because I'm going to blank off that breather and put another one in the sump plug so that's it next step will be to disassemble the crank flywheel